I would say one of the highlights of the trip for me was my experience at the Western Wall. And so when I walked up to the wall, I remember putting my hands on it and closing my eyes and lifting just a little prayer to God. And I just had a moment in the midst of my crazy life where I felt loved and known and believed in like I hadn't been in a while. I felt like I was stepping into a blessed and flourishing and developed and advanced culture and society that was embracing me. Israel was amazing. I fell in love with the land. I fell in love with the people of the land. And of course, I was in love with the Lord of the land. And we're hearing these lectures and these teachings from people who are living the everyday of today in Israel and what it really looks like. And what does it actually look like to love all the people who live in that place well, even the ones who don't agree with us? That really impacted me. And why being pro-Israel doesn't mean being anti-anybody else. You can be pro-Israel and pro-human. God, why did you bring me here? You know, what? what is your purpose for bringing me here? And what what is the number one thing you want me to walk away with? And I just felt the Holy Spirit say, I wanted to show you my hometown. Growing up, you always hear, you know, it's important we support Israel. And, and that's something that, um, something I always believed. It's But it's not something that crossed my mind on a day-to-day -day basis. But going there and seeing that there's real people living there who live lives just like my own and seeing the things they have to go through, not just believe that I'm supposed to support them, but, but to feel it and to know that um, there's a real thing I'm supporting and real people I'm supporting. One of the things that I experienced when I was in Israel, uh, just posting pictures on my personal Instagram of the scenery and, and the responses that I was getting, uh, both in comments and direct messages, was just direct hate towards me. And I'm not a Jew, I'm not the one that they're claiming to hate, but yet they're showing hate to me, which makes me wonder why they're hating these, this general population in the first place. They didn't have a reason to hate me, but yet they were. I feel like that also um, happens to, to the Jews, just the hate in general. Every day that we spent there, I, I felt like there was a certain pride in the people, and there was a beauty in the land that people acknowledged. And I felt honored and privileged to be in the country of Israel. As you grow to love Israel deeper and love the Israelis deeper, you actually can love the Palestinians better too. I didn't understand the importance of making a trip to the Holy Land. I mean, I understood I could see the sights and interact with a few people, but there's something about this place and a trip to this part of the world that will forever change you. And I couldn't encourage you more to say yes to that to really go for it, to step into the unknown, the mystery of it, and give yourself fully to experiencing what a trip like this could give to you.